Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a testing NYX makeup video as you can see for the title. If my voice sounds different it's because I'm filming this on the same day that I filmed like my videos before when I was still getting over my illness so I'm really sorry if that bothers people. So anyway, you guys have been asking for ages if I would film a testing NYX makeup video and I've had this makeup for ages just sitting in my room waiting to test so I finally tested it all on my face today and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So I've actually gone back to my old lens for this video because my other lens makes a really bad clicking noise when you have autofocus on but just like until I get an external mic or something I can't really use the other lens because it keeps being out of focus and it's just really frustrating. So I'm starting with the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation and I think this was about £7 if I remember correctly um, and it's oil free and I just got the shade Ivory. It just has a kind of like squeezy tube which I quite like actually in a foundation because then you can squeeze out like the right amount. So I'm just going to buff this in using the Morphe M439 brush, which is a great brush for blending in foundation. So, so far it's looking a little bit patchy in places. Um, I don't know if this would have gone on better if I'd have used the Beauty Blender. Okay, so that is the foundation on. I feel like it has a sort of mm, medium coverage I want to say you can still see a lot of the redness like around my nose you can definitely still st see like a lot of my kind of acne scars around here and like the redness around my nose and stuff but it's not bad like it's a little bit patchy like especially around my nose and I feel like if you were to have a lot of dry patches then it might pick up on them um, but so far it's not my favourite but it's okay. So for concealer I have the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and again I got this in the palest shade which is CW01. First impressions it looks quite orange. Okay so it's got quite a nice coverage like as you can definitely tell it's got uh, it's like eliminated my kind of dark circles a lot better than this eye so that's a good start. I wish it was a bit of a lighter colour but you know, can't have everything in life. I feel like with my skin tone, I can just get away with it. But if you're any paler than me, then this would be too orange on you, unfortunately. I feel like if you look under my eyes, like it does actually look quite orange compared to the rest of my face. Okay, so overall, I do like the concealer. I like the formula of it and stuff, but the color is just a bit too dark for me, which is a shame. Okay, so for powder, I'm using the HD Finishing Powder, and this is a pressed powder. Uh, they do do a loose version of this, I think, but I got the pressed one because I thought it would be good to go in my makeup bag. Okay, so I really like the way that this powder has made my foundation look. It doesn't look too cakey or anything, and it did the job, like it set my foundation pretty well. I think this is £8, which is quite pricey, um, but yeah, so far so good. So next I'm going to fill in my brows, and I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. This is a really good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I do slightly prefer the Anastasia one because it's a bit softer, but this one is like half the price, so... I haven't actually used this in ages. I've been filling my eyebrows in with powder, so if these end up looking a bit shocking, then I'm sorry. I'm actually just gonna take a bit of eyeshadow. So I'm taking, um, this is like a little magnetic palette that you can put little loose eyeshadows in, um, and they just come in little packets like this. I got a load of these at BeautyCon, um, but I'm gonna use this color here, which is called like over the taupe or something. Something taupe is the taupe colour um, and I'm going to fill in my brows with this because I'm quite struggling using a pencil because I haven't used one in a while. Okay so that colour did a pretty good job in filling in my eyebrows. It's just kind of like a cool toned sort of mid brown colour but I would still recommend the pencil if you like using eyebrow pencils but I've just got so out of routine of it recently so. So moving on to contouring I have the NYX contour palette which I've used I haven't used this in ages actually, but I used to use this a lot in my videos. Um, I really, really like this. It's a really great contour palette. However, I do only get use out of like two of the shades, which is like this and then the highlight very occasionally. I then also have the NYX Powder Blush in Taupe, which everyone absolutely raves about for contouring. I personally find it a bit dark on me. So I'm just gonna take this color from the contour kit and I'm just gonna contour my face.
Okay, so I feel like that did a pretty nice job. It's a t it's still like a tiny little bit orange, um, but I think that's just because I am like so pale that, I don't know, just most contour things tend to look kind of orange and dark on me. So this says on it the go-to palette, LA palette, but on the back it says Wanderlust, so I have no idea what this palette is, but I will link it down below. And this just comes with six different eyeshadows, a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. Um, and I'm just gonna use the blush from this because it looks like a really pretty kind of peachy color. I feel like it's not really showing up, or is it? I don't know, I can't really tell. Okay, so it's not the most pigmented, but it definitely is buildable. So now for the bit that I'm most excited about, which is the highlight, and I have swatched this and it looks beautiful, so. I'm really hoping it's going to come across that way on my face. Let's do this. Ooh. Oh my god. That is stunning. Honestly though, I think that palette is worth it just for the highlight. Like... That is beautiful. Moving on to my eyes, I obviously have uh, this palette which has got these six different colours in it. Um, again, I've done swatches of these and they look like they feel so like smooth and creamy. I know for a fact that this is available in Boots for £14, so I'm going to start out by using this colour um, and then I'll just probably end up using all of these actually because they look really pretty. And I'm just using this as my transition shade. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm then going to take this kind of shimmery brown colour and I'm going to pack this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm then taking this gold colour here and I'm going to put that on the kind of inner half of my eye. So at first the shimmery colours don't seem that pigmented, but when you build them up a little bit they are actually so pretty. They're not the most pigmented like shimmer shadows in the world, but... They're definitely there. I'm just gonna try the pink colour just in case it's any more pigmented. Let's just put that on the middle of my eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. And I just got a load of that in my eye. Don't get it in your eyes, kids. So I'm then taking this kind of white-ish colour and I'm gonna put this on my inner corner. Ooh. Then I'm just taking a tiny bit of this purple colour and I'm gonna put this on my like outer corner. You know how I mentioned in one of my other videos that I had like a random patch on my eye where eyeshadow just doesn't blend? There it is. I've actually just found one of the NYX individual eyeshadows that I did get in Boots ages ago. This is in the shade Girl Talk and I'm just going to put like a tiny bit of this just on the inner part of my eye. Okay, so I'm also taking this um, Ultra Pearl Loose Pigment in the shade White Pearl, and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this on my inner corners. I really hate the packaging of this though, because it's literally just like a little thing with nothing to shake it into. Okay, so that inner corner highlight is intense. So, we are nearly there. I'm now moving on to eyeliner, and this is the Matte Liquid Liner. This is actually the one that Sam um, picked out for me before. Um, for the boyfriend picks my makeup video or whatever it was called. It's really really tiny, but it just requires a very steady hand. And they're not perfectly even and that took me probably about twice as long as it normally does, um, but it is a very good liquid eyeliner. Like if you like those kind of things with like the uh, kind of flexible brush, then this is amazing. Okay, so second to last, I have mascara. I have the NYX Double Stacked Mascara, which comes with, you put like fibers on your eyelashes. I'm not sure how I feel about this, and knowing me, it's probably going to get in my eyes. So first you put on a bit of the mascara, and then you take the white stuff. Oh my God, it's literally, look, it's literally like fibers, and they are going, everywhere. They're literally like flying all over my face. And then you're supposed to put on another layer of mascara. Okay, so my lashes definitely did get thicker when I put the fibres on and then put this on. But to be honest, like it's such a hassle and I have mascaras that can do a better job than this in just like a couple of coats rather than having to do you know, get this on and then put on the fibres and then put more of this on, like, 
I just feel like it's a bit of a lengthy process. So the final step is the lips and I've got quite a lot of lip products to choose from. So I have a couple of the soft matte lip creams. I have the shade Budapest which is kind of like a dark berry colour and then I've also got Toulouse which is sort of like a mauvey brownie colour. I've then got one of the NYX butter glosses in the shade Ginger Snap. These smell incredible. I'm sure I've used this in a video before. Um, I'm pretty sure the first video that I did with Emma I was wearing this so if you want to see what this looks like on then just check back on my channel for a video that I did with Emma like in the summer. Um, this smells so so good. Um, I think I've definitely used this in a video before as well so I'm not going to use that. I wear this NYX lip lingerie like all the time. It's in the shade Honeymoon. I'm pretty sure I used this a couple of videos back maybe like a couple of weeks ago or something something. Um, so if I can try and figure out what video it is then I'll let you guys know uh, in the description or the comments or something. Um, but I do actually really really like the NYX lip lingeries. So the only two that I haven't actually tried before are this new um, soft matte lip cream in the shade, I did say the shade a minute ago. So I'm just going to try this on to show you guys what it looks like. They smell really really nice. Okay, so this is what the colour looks like. It's a really, really pretty colour and these are really comfortable, like I said, on the lips. They don't last all day because they don't like fully, fully dry down to like, you know, like the ones that literally like suck all the life out of your lips. It's not one of those. It's kind of like a comfortable matte. It does dry down eventually, but not to like a super, super you know, like on their colour. But the one that I'm actually most excited to try is one of the Cosmic Metals Lip Creams. This one is in the shade Speed of Light. Um, and I just got this because I thought it looked really interesting. So I'm gonna put it on my lips right now. Oh my God. It's so weird. I thought it was gonna be like a matte liquid lipstick, but it's actually kind of like a sticky gloss. Um, so if you see like I mean the colour is pretty amazing I'm not sure how much use I would actually get out of this because I don't really know if I'd wear this like outside but it is so pretty so that is it you guys overall I think my face looks really really good uh, I would say that my favourite things were probably the palette wait where's it gone this palette is definitely my favourite thing out of everything mostly because of the highlight like this is just gorgeous like I am obsessed with that highlight. The eyeliner is really, really good. The eyeshadows weren't the best in the world, but I've definitely used much worse. I especially liked this colour down here. That was a really nice transition colour. Um, and I just think this palette in general is a really, really good one. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the base stuff. Like, the foundation and concealer weren't really my favourite. Um, it's mostly because the colours didn't really match me that well, I guess. So I couldn't really give, like, a full positive review on that just because... I don't know, the bits where I've put concealer, there's a few kind of like random patchy orange bits. Um, but yeah, overall I really like the way that everything looks. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other brands you would like me to test in the comments down below. I'm going to be doing the testing uh, kind of new bits of Primark makeup pretty soon. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!